up everybody? I'm uh, Jim Connor Josh, heading out to one of my typical ramen rides. I'm not sure exactly what city this is in, but I'm going to Kenya Ramen. K-I-N-Y-A. I just did a little, little research on it before I headed out. And it looks like they got a couple spicy options, some miso, some seafood. Looks like a good little ramen shop. Uh, down at the bottom on the menu they had a whole bunch of different uh, well not a whole bunch but they had a good number of um, like add-ons that you could put into the bowl and I really like that because that means you can kind of customize it to your own your own liking so beautiful Sunday out here <laughs> we're getting to a point here in New York City that it's not gonna be nice for very much longer so I got to get out and ride as much as I can and uh, if you've been following my moto vlogs, my posts in the past month or two months closely, you would know that pretty soon I'm not actually I'm not actually going to be in New York City anymore. I'm actually moving out to California next year in like May, June, July time frame. I, I thought that I was going to be moving exactly in June, but it turns out I could leave earlier if it makes more sense for me life-wise I can make that happen but I'm definitely going to California at least that's that's the plan as of right now I got about eight months seven months to soak up more New York City before I go so I'm gonna hit all the ramen shops I can go to as many events as I can and just uh, live like I was dying I won't sing for you. I know I'll, I'll lose subscribers if I sing. But um, yeah, so Kenya ramen, I'm not really sure what to expect out here. I know on the menu they had a spicy um, something, spicy something ramen. That's all that really matters to me. I, I need some kind of spice in my life. You know, you gotta spice it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm excited for that. It looked like a nice spot. There's, there's good parking outside, so I don't have to like, wedge my car my motorcycle in between two cars on the main highway or anything like that so Kenya ramen I'll give you more info on it later actually check it out GPS said I have to take a ride up here somewhere. Not exactly sure where. And I could be wrong, but I think we're almost there. Why is this lane the only one that's going slow? What are you doing, dude? I walk into this 
door right here. Let's check it out. goodness that was some good ramen like that was some really good ramen I'm actually out of breath from it um where do I start let's start with the broth the broth was not thin not thick medium thickness but so delicious Spicy, flavorful. Um, I asked for extra spice in my broth just because I'm kind of used to doing that now. But it was pretty spicy by itself. It wasn't like make me cry, make me have to stop eating kind of spicy, but it was okay. It was pretty good. I'll tell you this, the, the service at this ramen restaurant was hands down probably the best I've ever had at a ramen shop here in the States. Jason, the guy that uh, took care of me, right off the bat, Saturday, like full service bar, he was super attentive. I don't know why you stopped. <laughs> super attentive, got me some Sapporo, told me about the restaurant, told me about his uh, shrimp chips I got a picture of the shrimp chips those are kind of interesting they're like pork rinds except for seafood super enjoyable as an appetizer as a starter just to get me interested in what was about to happen but again right off the bat first slurp of broth 
delicious, flavorful, a little bit spicy. Exactly what I'm looking for in a bowl. It wasn't super oily. It wasn't, you know, bland or anything like that. And then you go from there and you try, let's say, like the tamago, the egg. You could tell they definitely marinated it. It was flavorful. And it wasn't freezing cold, fresh out of the refrigerator, like a lot of places you go to. So, I loved it. It was, it was great. A couple dunks and some broth and the egg was just the most delicious gooey experience. Probably in this area, it was delicious. Chashu, <sighs> my goodness. It was grilled, it was absolutely delicious. You could tell they grilled it, you could tell that they took the time to actually give it its only unique flavor, but it still was like soft and it fell apart and was delicious just by itself. So amazing. All the other little ingredients that they added to it, the um, like bean sprouts, the uh, like onion, all that other stuff, it, it helped, but it wasn't the like star of the show or anything like that. I just feel like overall it was a a great bowl of ramen. It was just probably something that nobody in this area has really experienced before. And I would definitely I would come back. I would do it again. Just because it was delicious like that. I would say this, if you do like spicy, if you do like something that's uh, gonna make your, gonna make you sweat, gonna make you, you, like your nose run a little bit, you might wanna add a little bit more spice. But they have the uh, dry rub Japanese spice, and they also have the, um, like the paste that they can give you on the side. That might be a good idea if you really, really like spicy food. But I would say just as it is, it's a great bowl, super flavorful. I'm happy with it. I, I can't complain, honestly. The service was amazing. Actually, the, the owner and his wife, they came out and they said hi to me because I guess uh, Jason had probably told them that I was like an Instagram person or YouTube influencer. So they came out and they said what's up and they thanked me for coming and, and you know, asked me to I would highly, highly, highly recommend coming out here to Kenya Ramen. It was just amazing overall. And if you're looking for authentic ramen, this is probably as close as you can get to it in this area. So check it out. Tell them that Josh sent you. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Um, if you can, hit the little like button, hit the little bell icon. Come back, check out my stuff more often. I always post ramen reviews, I always post motorcycle content, and um, pretty soon I'm not going to be in New York City anymore, I'm going to be out in California, so this is probably one of the last ramen restaurants in New York that I could possibly share with you guys, so I hope you enjoyed it. As I always say, leave this world better than you found it. Peace. If you are interested in visiting ramen shops and sharing your love of noodles with others, please visit the Amazon.com books department and search for Noodle Notes by Gymkhana Josh. In his book you are able to take notes on each bowl you find so it can be shared with family or friends or even an online community of noodle lovers. Thank you.